Few exonerated inmates have had the influence that Kirk Bloodsworth has had on both state and federal legislation. The vote today by the State Board of Public Works makes Bloodsworth the first exoneree to be paid under a new state law. It was June of 1993. Kirk Bloodsworth walked out of a Maryland prison, a free and exonerated man, the first death row inmate in the United States to be cleared by DNA. He'd twice been convicted of the rape and murder of a young girl, a crime for which a different man later pleaded guilty. Today, the Board of Public Works awarded him more than $400,000 to compensate for the nine years he wrongfully spent behind bars. He spoke with us after the vote from his home out of state. Exonerees, I think, in general, uh, have a, a difficult life in any way. And money don't necessarily buy you love. And, uh, and it, you know, but it, it, it you know, it's the next best thing, I guess, if you don't have anything in order to try to have some sort of semblance of, you know, a, a life again. Nothing will ever make up for that. The payment to Bloodsworth is the result of a new law named after exoneree Walter Lomax that uses a formula to compensate people who've been wrongfully convicted. Previously, wrongfully convicted people would typically have to go to court to win compensation. The state was criticized for long delays in considering exonerees' cases. In the Bloodsworth case, the payment today took into account a smaller payment Bloodsworth received from the state in 1994 without a process to determine fair compensation. The payment today includes other benefits. All I can say is it's a long time coming. Now, whatever I get is already spent because i got to pay bills. You know, I've had bad health for the last... A uh, couple years, I uh, diagnosed with cancer. I uh, had a tumor on my liver, and, and we're working on that. And, you know, I'm not getting any younger. Bloodsworth was a key figure in the repeal of the death penalty in Maryland. His case has also influenced federal legislation. Bloodsworth now heads a nonprofit advocating for the end of the death penalty and working on improvements to the lives of exonerees. One thing he's currently working on, applying Social Security benefits to the time wrongfully convicted people spend behind bars, his own included. I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News.